If I start learning robotics right now at this date, what will be the resources I will go for? Hi there, my name is Mohammed Lukman and today we'll look into the playlist and actual courses available to get better at robotics, to start learning robotics from scratch. The playlist that I will be providing are going to be totally free to audit. But keep in mind, it's not just about ROS to learn robotics. There are a lot of other things that we have to learn in robotics. So let's get started. This is the first playlist that you will go through and it is by Paul McCorder. This person did a great job in explaining how you can build a basic mobile robot and you can drive it and do all of the hands-on practices on a robot to reduce the confidence gap with robots. So he did an amazing job, built multiple projects with ultrasonic obstacle avoiding robot and all of the basic projects that one can do. You need to buy this kit and start working upon it directly practical robotics. One thing to keep in mind that mobile robots are very easy to understand in theory and in practical programming as compared to drones and robotic arms. So that's why I'm suggesting to start with mobile robots. Now here is a suggestion that please do not just watch the video and look at the code, get the robot. The main aim for suggesting that playlist to be the first was to get the robot, build it and move it on your own because the next playlist and courses are going to be totally theoretical. And for those to work, you need to have a robot that you will apply the learnings onto that robot. So that's why you must go through the playlist with actual robot that is a fairly available mobile robot kit anywhere in the world. Next one is Modern Robotics Mechanics Planning and Control Specialization on Coursera. You can audit this course as well. You can apply for financial aid. Otherwise, it is paid and in paid, you get quizzes and assignment as far as I remember. I am already enrolled in it. There are multiple courses inside of it. These give you strong understanding of robotics, dynamics and control, which is important. And most of the people don't talk about it. They talk about AI programming and that's it. But dynamics, motion planning, control are the main aspects of robotics. So why I'm suggesting this is because it goes into kinematics, how the robots are moving, dynamics and motion planning and control. These are complex. No doubt they are complex and manipulation, which is robotic arms that comes into the courses as well. But I am suggesting you for one important reason here as well. These are video lectures and you get a book as well, Modern Robotics book, which is free for everyone by the same university northwest and this becomes a very good combination of the book itself which is not very old it published in 2017 and give you deeper understanding of the concepts with the video lectures and the book itself after some chapters it becomes very complex and things like jacobians come into play dynamics and newton euler inverse dynamics things are complicated for the newbie but keep in mind that now we have chat gpt and things like that that can easily help us in understanding of things for example if i say teach me about jacobians in detail for mobile robots trajectory generation and you can keep this chat going and going and understanding what these topics are doing they have a lot of mathematics and equations but you don't need to understand everything just get basic idea and with the help of chat gpt build an understanding and never forget that we have assignment and quizzes in the specialization as well and they are a good representation of what you have done this is Robotics Specialization by Pennsylvania University and Vijay Kumar is the lead instructor here. It contains five courses and sixth is Capstan Robotics Project. If you have gone through Modern Robotics Complete Book and its understanding and some programming practices on your robot, I would recommend you start with the last one because you have to do the first thing when you are dealing with robots and that is estimation of their location. The upper ones are dependent upon sensors that you might not have at that point but you want to find out where your robot is at this specific point so this is going to be my recommendation for starting out so in this course you have understanding of gaussian distributions in representation to your robot then localization particle filter mapping of the environment and kalman filtering specifically which is very important for robotics coming to the first one in aerial robotic they start with drones Everything here is in MATLAB. They explain 
the theory and you put your equation into test by doing the assignments and you learn how to write equations into MATLAB and then you understand the effect of parameters you change. I first implemented PID in this course very first time and I understood in depth the assignments they have are really amazing. So you might need to go for the paid one. I would recommend that computational motion planning contains graph based search algorithms like A star, Digixtra and sampling based motion planning algorithms like probabilistic roadmaps and artificial potential fields. These are great to start with. They are explained in detail here. In mobility, most people don't like it because it contains dynamics for your mobile robot, specifically for bipod, hexapod and human-like robots and quadrupods. Perception is harder. At first, I did not took it because it contains image processing related things and I was not working with camera for a while. But although it, it contains a lot of things and a lot of explanation is there because you can see 19 hours of mobility, 14 hours of estimation and 11 hours of computational motion planning. But perception, it's 32 hours. And a lot of content is inside of this perception who wants to work on images, computer vision, which is very important in robotics. You are going to learn a lot from this because it contains geometry of image formation, projective transforms and multi-view geometry. All of these might not make sense to you, but they are important topics when you are working with a camera. Now this specialization by Pennsylvania University is amazing, but you might feel that limited to MATLAB simulation and you are thinking that, okay, it's just that and we are not understanding anything, but believe me, you are understanding a lot. And I understand that you find yourself lacking because of the sensor availability, the theory you are not able to implement. And that is where ROS comes in. You can't buy $10,000 of 3D LiDAR. You you can simulate it in ROS and understand the pretty basics, how you can calibrate it, how you can process the data of it. So I would suggest the construct for now to be one of the best resource of learning ROS. It's paid. There are some free courses. Then comes the robotism, which is under construction and we will be building it to be the best in robotics education. The last one is introduction to robotics by Princeton University and it is uploaded a year ago and the last lecture is i guess 11 months old and i think they are keep on updating it the interesting thing is it is by a professional institute which is well known the other one is introduction to robotics by mit open courseware but it is of 2005 although theory is almost the same this one provides basic mechanical dynamics and control that modern robotics deal with. So I think you can go through it, but I would not recommend because you have already done if you have done that. Princeton University gives a holistic view. These are lectures and they step by step go into other parts of all the robotics as a field, all the aspects of it. Similarly, you can see reinforcement is also being touched. Ethics and laws are also being touched. Optical flow most of the topics that you will see here are also covered in robotic specialization by pennsylvania university but they are a good mixer for example if i open it there is a link to the lab page and here we can see the notes and slides mostly the basic lectures are focused on this drone it also provides us the reference textbooks that are good for you when you are learning robotics this whole sequence of playlists is going to take i guess six to seven months minimum if you are doing full time but this is going to be worth the effort and keep in mind that don't get bored by the theory if you are getting bored start working on the actual robot how to implement it keep things side by side don't just stick yourself to one specialization but i would not recommend you to keep all of the things running in parallel they are going to cause a lot of issues the thing is when you feel limited by the sensors as the theory grows a lot in most of the university lectures, you can shift to simulations like ROS. You have to then learn those as well. But these simulation software, especially ROS, is industry requirement nowadays and it is a great skill to have. So wish you best luck in robotics journey and don't forget we are building the best one as well.